What is going on, guys? This Waffle here. Oh, I'm getting chased. <laughs> I'm getting chased by the Palitos. Oh, no, I'm trying to do the intro. <laughs> okay. Whew. I guess you ran out of breath there. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to some more bug snacks in the Isle of Big Snacks. Did I get away? Oh, I did before he got me there. <laughs> But we'll go back to Bug Snacks in the Isle of Big Snacks. Last time we left off, we came back over here to the triplicate area, and we actually opened this area up with that weird, like, triangle key that we got over in the Isle of Big Snacks, or Broke Tooth Island, whatever you want to call it. And then, uh, yeah, we listened to a bunch of these cassettes over here, and apparently I missed one. Apparently, if you go to that room with that swinging pendulum, you guys said there's one more cassette that's supposed to spawn in, right? Which one is it? Is that that one, or... Yeah, it's that one over there. Okay. So... If I make all the statues over here point inward toward the pendulum, apparently there's supposed to be another uh, cassette and there's supposed to be like some sort of like special event or something like that that happens in the ending. Like uh, this is part of getting that extra ending or something like that, right? Oh, okay. Well, now it's swinging that way for some reason, but I'm going to make them all face inward and see if something happens here. And here's the last statue. Just got to rotate it one more time, I think. Yeah, here we go. So is something going to happen. Yep, something happened. Did something happen? Where? Oh, yeah, 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 right there in the middle. Ah, don't get hit. Jeez, can I get that safely? I don't know, but it's like rotating between each three corners here of the triangle. <laughs> Hold on, can I listen to that? I've been watching your expedition with great interest. I don't get radio out here, so, you know, most entertainment I've had all year. I'm afraid that Brana Kalata blog has gone somewhere that you should not follow. Ooh. She's gone somewhere. And you guys said that these tapes are not intended for me, but for... Oh, jeez. But for someone else. The, uh... The news, like, 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 the journalist, like, at the beginning, the intro, right? And we were like, oh, man, we're going to go to Snack Tooth Island or whatever. She said, don't go there or something like that. I forgot what the story was specifically i haven't played in like a year and a half right but yeah apparently it was actually intended for that person not me i think that's the case and then yeah he said something about veronica lada blog that's triffany's grandmother right i've been watching your expedition with great interest i don't get radio out here so you know most entertainment i've had all year i'm afraid that veronica lada blog has gone somewhere that you should not follow Hmm, so Bronica Lotta blog went somewhere where you should not follow, talking to the, the people that were here before us, that old journalist lady from the intro. And I can only assume that he's talking about L Bronica, like, made fa somehow found her way into the Undersnacks, just like what happened to Lisbur. And I wonder if that means Bronica Lotta blog was like queen number one or queen number two, because isn't Lisbert supposed to be like queen number three, I think? It's supposed to bring like great prosperity or something like that. I forgot the specific stuff, <laughs> even though it was like literally last episode. I did also read you guys' comments from last episode. There's a cappuccino right there. I saw that during the intro. I wanted to avoid it on my way over here to make sure I didn't spook it, right? But you guys were leaving very helpful comments saying, hey, if you want to catch the cappuccino, you have to actually use like the bug snacks in the environment to try and catch them. And He's always going to be in the same area as the bosses. So over here, we have the Mega Maki boss. And then over in the Sizzling Sands, we had the uh, Mothsa Supreme. Frosted Peak had the Daddy Cake Legs. And then Flavor Falls had the Mama Melwin, right? So those are going to be the four different locations that we're going to find this Cappuccino at that it's going to constantly run to, right? So if we if we, if, if, it, if we fail at getting this thing, like, knocked out, which, by the way, yeah, like I said, you guys said to use the Buck Snacks. So we'd have to use something like the Palatos over there or the Crab... Crabble... Or, what was that thing called again? Yeah, Crapple. If we, if we fail using that thing to, to try and catch this thing, I, I guess we'll go to those other locations. And apparently I was pretty close to getting it in the uh, Frosted Peak using the, uh, the, the what's it called? The bon Bonop? No, not the Bonopper. That's what this guy's called, right? Yeah, I've been hearing that guy in the background. <laughs> but the Scooby Banoopy. But anyways, so if I get this, if I cover him, I guess in chocolate? Would the crapple grab him and then take him over to his whatever, and then maybe that would stun him, just like just like what happened with the uh, the, the the pineapple guy, right? The panantula. We had to use the crapple to capture the panantula. I think that's how it went, right? So if I get, ah, oh, that probably would have been a good opportunity. I might have to wait until they come around again, man. All right, well let, let, let's see. I do have a little bit of chocolate, 
I grabbed a pretty good amount of uh, stuff at the end of last episode. We'll see if I can actually aim for this guy and actually hit him without spooking him, of course. And hopefully... Oh, yeah, the uh, the, the Sodi's probably going to... Yeah. So I probably have to do something with that Sodi now. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't get him, man. Okay, well, I, I need to get rid of that Lasodi so it doesn't, like, spray off the chocolate, you know? All right, this might be a good opportunity right here. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah. Well, if he goes into water, it's going to wash him off anyways, right? Hold on. Whoa. Whoa. No! I'm going to run out of chocolate. There you go. Oh, I got him. I got him. Okay. So it's still going to be chocolate. No, yeah. See, it washes off. Yeah, see, this is going to be a tough location here. I think we might want to move to a different location, you guys. Yeah, especially, I'm like, maybe I can get him right now. Uh, chocolate. Got him. Got him. Is the crab going to get him? Oh! Ah, the man. Yeah, see, this is a tough location. Maybe, maybe the Mothsa Supreme, maybe the Sizzling Sands area, maybe that's going to be, yeah, you know what, yeah, let's just teleport over there. Crapple is not wearing a hat. Lasodi's not wearing a hat. I don't know, maybe one of the snack pods is wearing a hat. There's a, oh, there's another Crapple there. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, that one's out of the way. Wait, wait, what was his path? Okay, he constantly goes in, in and out of water, though. But the Cappuccino, yeah, look at that. He gets pretty close to the Cappuccino, though. This might be possible. And here's his little hut here. So hold on. If I... Oh, yeah, see, now he's hiding in there. But... Oh, wait, what? The, well, the Palatos is over here now. Hold on. Ah! Cover... What, what is he like? I don't know. What do you like? What is, what is the Palatos like? Chocolate? I don't know. There you go. No, run into him. Run into him. No! No, my gosh. It's going to be... Oh, well, he hit something. Oh, he hit the Lasodi, which I guess is good. Which is good, so we can actually take him out of the water and not spray, but now that I can... Cappuccino's gone. But it should be, I'd say Sizzlin' Sands, if you had to ask me, Sizzlin' Sands might be the easiest in terms of, like, like getting him knocked out, but because there's, like, two or three different bugs that I could use here, right? Is he over here? He is! Okay. Okay. So if we get... What is the Lolive like? The Lolive has a hat! I think. Is that a hat? What is that? What in the world is that? There's something on his head. I don't know what that is, but he's, he's definitely got a hat. Hold on, he like what, what, what? I wasn't even paying attention. What do you like? I was so distracted by the hat. Oh wait, is he running away already? Okay, he's not. Okay, cheese. Uh, speaking of cheese, he likes cheese. So, what did I need to do to get the the lolive to get? I forgot how we caught the lolive, the black lolive that is. And there's the cheeser. I don't need the cheeser. I'm going to keep that inventory space open. I, I still need to get the barbecue bunger, I think, for uh, for Gramble. And then yeah, there's Mother Supreme. Yeah, we haven't done that mission just yet. We could probably do it on camera, I guess. But they get the black olive. He likes the cheese. I guess I could hit the, uh... Maybe I can't... Yeah, okay. They're about to meet paths right here. Hopefully I can hit the, the cappuccino with the cheese. There we go. No! Oh, man. Ah, oh, man. And then he would have picked him up right there. That would have been perfect. I, I, it, whenever it's blue, it's, like, guaranteed to hit him, though. But I guess I just hit that... Or let go of it, like, at the last second. Oh, well, now he's trying to do the cheese again. And there you go. Boom! Yeah, he's covered in cheese. The black lol is coming over here to go get him. Hopefully, he doesn't go into the water first, though. Ah, the spuddy's coming over here now. The black lol is chasing after him, but golly, the cappuccino's way too fast. Wait, hold on. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Now, now he's in the water again. I'm going to have to hit him again. And no, ah, oh, man. See, that would have been good. He was about to meet Paz right there again. That would have been amazing. Then yeah, there's the cheeser. He got hit. I might have to wait another lap here for the Black Lolive. And there's another Black Lolive over there, too. Whoa! Whoa! Something! It looked like the the, the Cappuccino got hit right there. Hold on, hold on. Black Lolive! Black Lolive got him! Black Lolive got him! Hold on, what do we do now? What, 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 what did the Black Lolive... Can I do something with him now? Can I catch him? Oh! I got him! I got the Cappuccino! Oh my gosh! Cappuccino! Holy heck, it's that easy! You guys, I don't know how much footage I'm going to have to cut out of this. I thought I'd have to, like, bring him into... Let's try and catch the, the black lolly. What is that? That's a chef's hat. That's like the show, like the poofy chef's hat. So how do we, how do we get the black lolly, though? All right, you guys are back. Um, I don't know why I wasn't thinking of this before, but I must have just ignored the trip shot. Here we go. 
That goes like right into his pants. Uh, I don't know. He might just barely miss that. But I could cover that in cheese. Yeah. If I cover that in cheese, like right before he hits it, so Lasodi doesn't, uh, or whatever that, I forgot which one, which was that we called? Oh, wait, never mind. He hit it anyways. <laughs> wow. Wow. <-oof. laughs> then we got the chef's hat, right? Yeah, look at that new snack hat. Chef's hat. Awesome. So I've got to see how cute are the snacks over in Gramble's farm or ranch, whatever you want to call it. What do they look like with the chef's hat on? Oh, it's raining too. How's it oh, hold on. Oh yeah, you have to catch the uh, the the pop to some like the chocolate pop to. Oh my gosh, the raspy. What the? How do how do we crouch again? I, I forget how to. Here we go. Look at the little raspy with the party hat on. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Oh my gosh. And of course, the little raspy sounds so cute too. Oh wait, what is this? I've got a fl wait, when did I get a flower hat? So I have four, we just, hold on. Did I catch, what did I catch? I caught something before I caught the cappuccino. Wait, where, where is, oh, this isn't even, an, oh, the buffalo, was the buffalo just wearing a hat? I must not have paid attention, and there's the blank lolif. Was one of the paletas wearing a hat? Lasodi was Lasodi. Lasodi might have been wearing a hat. I wasn't paying attention to that. And I don't know about the inchworm or what in, in trap. But we got a flower hat. We got a, a party hat. We got a chef's hat. We got the explorer hat. Hold on. What does? I guess Bunger. Bunger. What? What? What do you look like with chef's hat? Oh, oh my gosh! It's huge. <laughs> That's hilarious. The Bunger with a giant chef's hat. Hold on, hold on. What about the Raspy? Raspy looks super cute. Oh my gosh! The Raspy with the chef's hat! Somehow that's even cuter than with the party hat! Oh my gosh, I can't even get a good look at him. He's like, stop. Look at him! Oh my gosh! Oh, that's so cute! What does the Raspy look like with the. the Shelda's Crass, what it's called? Shelda's Crown. Oh, the, the Raspy's pretty cute with the flower hat, too. The flower crown. Oh, that's pretty cute. But honestly, I'd say either the party hat. Or let's put the party hat. What, what about what about uh, Triffany's helmet? Oh, the, the Raspy's ready to go on an adventure. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh, this is just way too cute. I'm about to like die of cuteness overload. <laughs> but anyways, I guess we found two hats this episode. So I, I guess we'll end it off right here. We got some really, really good progress. To, I don't know, should we donate the Cappuccino to Gramble's farm? Maybe. All right, let, 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 me know in the, let me know in the comments down below. What should I do with the cappuccino? Because apparently, I guess we got every bug snack now, huh? Nine out of nine and guard. Well, except for the boss. I need to recapture the bosses because I haven't done that in this playthrough or this this save. 14 out of 15 in Boiling Bay, though. That's because I haven't gotten the Mini Maki or the Mega Maki yet, right? Uh, but I've, apparently I've scanned the... Oh, yeah, I've scanned the Mini Maki because we saw it in that under, underwater area. Yeah. And then I could hear it talk. Mini Maki. Mini Maki. And I can't hear... Yeah, I can't hear the Mega Maki talk though. Scorch Gorge, yeah, we got all those. Sizzling Sands. Yeah, same thing there. I need to get the Monster Supreme and the uh, little, little, little pizza roll things. And uh, Sugar Pine Woods, 10 out of 10. Frosted Peak, 14 out of 14. Because I had to do the Daddy Cake Legs for a Snorpiece mission, right? The Broken Tooth Island, yep, 11 out of 11 there. And then the Triplicate Space, 1 out of 1. And then we could hear the Cappuccino. Cappuccino! Cappuccino! <laughs> I don't know if I could, I don't know, make that higher pitch and maybe it sounds like it. I don't know. Maybe that sounds like it. Who knows? <laughs> I've, I've been off and on with my uh, Bug Snacks impression. Some of them sound good and some of them sound absolutely horrendous. But uh, yeah, other than that, yeah, we, we got like almost all the Bug Snacks here, you guys, including the new Cappuccino and all the uh, ones on the the new island over there, which is pretty crazy. I might as well re-up on all the chocolate and whatever else that we used pretty recently, right? But yeah, I, I, that, I thought it was a little bit more involved than just putting the black lol of like in, in, in the path of the cappuccino, covering the cappuccino, in, in in the cheese, or what whatever he like. Does Black Lala like cheese? That doesn't sound right. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> I don't like Black Lala's in real life, and Black Lala with cheese on top of it sounds even more disgusting. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I, I thought it'd be a little bit less involved than that, or a little bit more involved than that, but apparently not. And then Gramble's over here looking like a weird lettuce wrap. How you doing? But I guess he looks better than the white strappy for- Oh yeah, what is this? Well, oh, this is from uh, the journalist. This is this is the person I talked about earlier, where I was like, apparently those tapes were meant for this person, not me. That's what you guys commented at least. 
Well, great. I, don't, I, don't, I forgot how her voice went, by the way. I just do some random voice. Well, great. You followed your journalistic instincts and now you know the truth. But do you know what to do with it? Just try not to make the same mistakes I did and don't ever let Jamfoot push you around. C. Yeah, C. I, I don't know what that name was. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys know what C stand, what this person's name was because it was like at the beginning and like at the very end of the playthrough and I completely forgot what it was. But we got a Sodi Fountain and a Snacks Mobile. Now, is that something I could put up here? Build, uh, whoops, build mode. Is that something I could put? Yes. Oh, you know what? That's, oh, what is that? There's like a chi poof there. There's a, there, the, I, I forget what the crystal, I forgot what that actually called. Then the ice cream sandwich one. I forgot what he said. Oh, man. Then the, the mosquito grape thing. Ah, oh, man, I'm. Uh, that's a white chi poof, is it? Is that a white? I don't know. That might be a regular chi poof. I think chi poof's the only one I could actually remember right here. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if you guys remember all the other bug snacks right here. There's like a hundred plus of them now. I can't remember all of them, but either way, that's what our place. Now, and what about the sodi fountain? What does that look like? So is that going to replace this? Yes. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Is that actually running water there? I guess. It, I don't know. It kind of looks stable, like stationary, but there's la sodi. There's... The, the, the orange flavored one, I think it's a sizzling sand, so I forgot what that one was called. And then Mount Sodi, it's supposed to be like the Mountain Dew one, I think. That's pretty cute. I like that, that's pretty cool. And do I, am I able to do... Yeah, I'm still not able to do this thing yet, or... Yeah, still not able to do a window or whatever there, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks. Or to get the second story yet, so... Uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna have to do like Grambles mission, get him a barbecue bunger, uh, other people's missions and stuff like that, and then we'll be able to customize this. And I guess we'll end off the series after we have this thing completely maxed out, right? But wow, what an episode. We actually caught the, the cappuccino. I don't know how much footage I'm going to cut out, but we, we caught it relatively quickly there, you guys. That was pretty good. But either way, I guess I'll just end off this episode right here. And we can start looking forward to next episode. We're going to do more of these Grumpus's missions and try and upgrade our hut over there to be max. Like, like, like basically two stories like this one over here. Was this Lisbert and uh, Agabelle's hut over here? I think so. So yeah, definitely look forward to that next episode. But until then... Ah, another fine day behind us. <laughs> yeah, that, that's actually really good right there, Philbo. Nice little outro thing you said right there. Another nice fine day behind us. But anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Bug Snacks in the Isle of Big Snacks comes out so you don't miss it because <laughs> just like this Razby, we're going to be going on some more adventures here pretty soon. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Bug Snacks in the Isle of Big Snacks. Oh, bye there. Oh, look at the little Razby. Oh.